I want to show you a little project I've been working on here for a while. I had this old bird 43, 4431 uh, meter. And uh, I acquired this back in the early 90s. And uh, it was in its leather case with a bunch of uh, coax connectors and other little various parts. And uh, through the years of being hauled around in a service truck, the finish got quite beat up. And uh, so I decided to do a couple things. I wanted to revive it. I want to make it look a little bit better. And I wanted to add a PEP kit to it. So what I did is I sanded the thing down, got all the chips and stuff worked out of it, and um, painted it with some uh, Rust-Oleum hammered. I know it's not the, the proper gray and whatnot that everybody else paints them in. And I didn't want to do it in some goofy color like red or blue or something. I wanted it to still look kind of industrial, but uh, I like the hammered look. You know, I like that. Uh, I like that texture. So that's what I decided to do it in. Plus, it's pretty tough paint, so it should last for a while. So <clears throat> basically, I stripped the thing down, gutted it. Um, now, this has the RF sampling unit built into it on the back here. On the, uh, it samples through the line section. So what I did is I ordered a PEP kit from Watts Electronics up in New York. Shout out to them. They were really nice people to work with. And uh, they make a really snazzy little, little board here that's really easy to install. So I installed that. Um, I put their new end cap on. Now, I don't really have this thing, you know, I don't have the handle back on it, the leather strap and stuff, and I have a blank spot here. This is where the sampling uh, connector came out of, uh, what is it, a BNC type connector. But as you can see, there's really no room to actually put it back in because it's a pretty big, pretty big connector they have in there. So <clears throat> I opted to bring it out this side. And I'm going to um, put an end cap in there and then mount that. Um, I ordered the sampling kit just before Christmas. And not too long after that, uh, Matt uh, added this little plastic cap to his kit. And he was very nice. He sent me a, another cap for free. I just asked him. I said, hey, I missed out on your, your deal here when you added this end plug. So is there any way you could send me one? I'll buy it from you. And he's like, nah, sure, I'll just send you one. So he did. So I've got the on-off switch here and the times two setting and the times five setting multiplier. And instead of putting the LED in here, I opted to put it down here in the front um, just so I can see it a little bit better from the bench. I'm a little forgetful, so it's kind of nice. I've already almost left this thing on all night, so what the heck. I'm using a coaxial dynamic slug. This is the 82005, 2 to 30 megahertz at 100 watt slug here. This meter was also replaced. The meter movement itself was replaced back in 1990. So that's all new. The, the, the meter itself is older than that. But uh, the company that I got this from, I guess, had a defective meter, so they put a new one in. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is my first attempt at labeling, so I wanted to keep that clean in the front and, um, have some labeling here on the side, the little back plate here goes on. I'm just showing you this. Um, so right now the battery is just kind of laying in here. And I think what I'm going to do is, um, there's not much room in there. To put an enclosure in. I can't wrap it up and put it in a wrapping or anything because this actual piece is mechanical. So when I turn this knob, it actually moves the device in and out physically. See? So it's kind of hard to put anything down in there to pin the battery in. So I'm going to come up with something. Maybe I'll put a piece of Velcro on it or something. Not really sure. I finished this up a while ago and I'm just kind of getting back to working on it again. I'm going to put the little rubber uh, 
rubber feeties back on here. I have the rubber feet, the original ones back here again. Um, anyway, uh, the, the PEP kit was very easy to install, uh, very easy to calibrate. It works like a charm. I absolutely love it. Um, I like that, the little blue LED. That looks good. Everything in my shack is pretty much blue LED anyway. But uh, there you have it. If you guys are thinking about uh, using that PEP kit, um, that Watts uh, guy up in, uh, I think it's Watts Electronics up in New York. His eBay handle is like Matt, and then his call sign K2 something. I don't know. I'll put that down in the description. But anyway, well, tell me what you think. I'm not really a painter. The paint job is fair to marginal. Um, I got a little goober here. When I tightened this screw up in here, it started wrinkling the finish. Uh, when I started reassembling this thing, the paint job was a couple days old, and apparently um, I should have let it uh, cure a little bit longer. But you know what? I really don't care. This thing looks 100 times better than it did. It works flawless. Um, nice to have my bird back in line. So there you go. Bird 4431 um, Rehab. And PEP uh, kit edition. So thanks for watching.